Hi everyone, my name is Samantha and I make videos on minimalism, my nobile life, work-life balance and personal finance. So today I wanted to share with you my minimalist wardrobe. I've watched a lot of these videos on YouTube and sometimes I come away from them feeling a little bit frustrated. It seems to me that people are only presenting their capsule wardrobe and not the entire wardrobe because when you live in a country like me, for example, I live in the UK and we have four distinct seasons and we do get really changeable weather so I need a lot of transitional pieces. So those wardrobes were wardrobes that I couldn't possibly mimic. I also understand that a lot of people who are into minimalism, they really like a quite a neutral colour palette. They only seem to wear black and white and that's really not the case for me. I do wear a lot of black and white but I also really like pops of colour. So I wanted to throw my hat in the ring and show you an alternative minimalist wardrobe. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. Coats and jackets. I have five jackets and coats in total to see me through all the seasons and weather ups and downs we have in the UK. I've had this puffy yellow coat for a year now and it needs to go to the dry cleaners ASAP. It's from Quiz Clothing and cost only £60. I do like it but it was a cheaper alternative to a desirable coat that I wanted. So when I'm off my low buy no buy in 2021, I will look to getting the coat that I actually had my eye on. If you don't know, a low buy no buy is a challenge where you commit to not buying any non-essential items such as clothing or makeup for an entire year. Everyone's low buy no buy is different, so some people allow themselves to buy replacements and some people are more extreme. If you want to know more about my low buy no buy, then I'll link the relevant videos and playlists in the description below and the cards above. The next coat was an absolute bargain at only £30 from an East London store. I wear it when the weather is a little bit milder, so from autumn to early winter time. This coat I've actually come to love as it's my only super nice coat and I wear it to dinners or family gatherings and it makes me feel very smart. It's a Ted Baker coat and cost around £200 if I remember correctly. This next one is a leather jacket from All Saints and personally I don't like it. I get really cold and leather no matter how heavy just doesn't keep me warm enough so I always have to wear something underneath it. It was also really expensive coming to nearly £300 but everyone always compliments me on it and I certainly don't see myself purchasing another leather jacket again so I try to think of it as an investment piece. This last jacket is such a staple in my wardrobe. It's a lightweight down jacket from Uniqlo which gives me added insulation and I wear it all the time. It's super versatile so I can wear it as a cardigan or underneath one of my coats. Jumpers. Jumpers or sweaters as Americans call them. I have one red hoodie, a white knit jumper from Gap, a very warm navy blue Christmas jumper, a more lightweight striped jumper that can be used as a transitional piece between seasons, and two long sleeve black jumpers from Zara, which I wear as is during summer and autumn and as a layering piece in winter. Cardigans and fleeces. This is my favourite cardigan and it's from Zara. I only wear it to nicer places as it's the only smart cardigan I have. In addition, I have two fleeces which I'll wear to work and also at home. These are from M&S and although they aren't the most fashionable things, they do a really good job of keeping me warm. T-shirts. I don't wear a lot of t-shirts and these four basic ones serve me well. Shirts. I have seven shirts in total and I love wearing shirts. This first one is a denim shirt from Topshop and unpopular though the opinion might be, I love a bit of denim on denim. The next one is a soft plaid shirt from Levi's. This one is a black and white check shirt also from Levi's. I really enjoy wearing Levi's shirts because of the cut and fit and they last for years. I think I've had this plaid shirt for three years and the black and white check one for a decade and they're both still in good shape. The next one is a basic navy blue with white polka dots. I think it was from a mid-range high street store such as Peacock's and although it's not a favourite, it's a good option for work. The next shirt is my only white shirt and it's from Zara. It falls nicely and looks professional so I'm a fan. I have the same shirt in yellow and it's a nice pop of colour in my wardrobe. I wear black and neutral colours most days for work so I enjoy it anytime I wear something colourful. And finally, I have this green shirt from Primark and it's a regret purchase for me. The material is very uncomfortable so I don't really want to wear it and I think in my next declutter this one will have to go. Summer tops. I have about 8 summer tops. I don't have a lot to say about these tops except, as you can see, I like a bit of colour. And I also have two crop tops. Trousers. I have three pairs of trousers, two jeans and a pair of black trousers that's more appropriate for a smarter day in the office or for an interview. Shorts and skirts. Given our weather in the UK, I don't often get a chance to wear shorts and skirts, but I do have a few. Dresses and jumpsuits. I have five dresses and they are all distinct and I like them all. 
The polka dot one is from New Look and is really good quality and feels much more expensive than it was. It's really easy to wear and I always feel confident when I wear it. I haven't had a chance to wear this green one yet so I don't have a photo. It's quite a hard dress to wear as it's very tight and needs a lot of shapewear to give you a nice silhouette. I love the colour of this red dress, it's from Oasis if I remember correctly, and I do love their style of clothing with their eye-catching floral prints. The next dress is from New Look, and again, it feels much more expensive than it was, and I really enjoy wearing it. This photo was taken at my surprise bridal shower last year, and it doesn't do the dress justice as I'm wearing a sash, but this is the best picture of the dress I have. And finally, this mustard colour dress is from Boohoo. It's not the best quality material, but it is a nice pop of colour. In addition to the dresses, I also have two jumpsuits. This red one I wear in the summer and this black velvet one I wear in winter. Holiday wear. I have four lightweight dresses that I wear on holiday and in the height of summer. I don't really need any more holiday clothing as I use my summer tops and shorts and skirts to make as many combinations of outfits as I need. I've had this purple dress for nearly 15 years and it's still going strong. This yellow dress is really a cover up for swimwear. This denim dress was from Topshop and I love it, mainly because I love anything denim. And finally, this pretty green dress is from Oasis and it makes me feel very summery whenever I wear it. Sportswear This year, I've started going to the gym fairly regularly, so to that end, I've invested in a good quality sports bra. I use four t-shirts that I used to wear around the house for the gym and I have three leggings. The one with the orange and black netting is slightly thicker so great for winter. I also use all my leggings as thermals underneath my jeans in the depths of winter. Loungewear It's so easy to look slobby at home as we can keep items far past their sell-by date. I recently did a huge cull of my loungewear to whittle it down to the items that I actually like wearing. To that end I have three t-shirts, two joggers and two silky nighties. Hats and scarves I have a couple of trusty hats and a grey scarf that see me through the winter months. Shoe collection. I have one pair of trainers that I wear every day to work and to the gym. These are my fancy trainers that I got for my birthday for my husband. These pair of flats have been with me for years. They're really versatile and I wear them all throughout summer and on holidays. They were from New Look and cost about £10 if I remember correctly. These pair of mini heeled court shoes are great as I can wear them to formal occasions and stay comfortable because the heel height is so short. These ankle boots come in useful if I'm trying to funk up an outfit, but they are on their way out. One of the heels have worn away on one side, so it's not the most comfortable experience wearing them. And finally, these are my trusty pair of knee-high brown boots that I wear when I'm not wearing the blue trainers. To be honest, I would love to get a pair of knee-high black boots in addition to everything I have here. But as I'm still on my low buy no buy, I've not allowed myself to purchase anything like that, and these brown boots have acted as a semi-satisfying substitute. So the only things I didn't show in my minimalist wardrobe tour was my underwear and my socks. I have plenty of those. If you've watched my drawer and cupboard organisation video, you'll have seen that. I also didn't show swimwear. I have two one-piece bathing suits and one bikini. I just didn't feel like showing them on the internet. If you like minimalism content and want to follow my minimalist journey, then make sure to check out the videos in the description below. I think you might like them. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye.